Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks. Welcome to our shipyard. We're in upstate New York, about 20 miles south of Lake Ontario, and we're building a 41-foot full displacement trawler yacht in our backyard. Now, she was designed with the home builder in mind, and once complete, she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. So this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, we needed some bracing to uh, make the boat more stable. Uh, we had some braces that were attached just to the keel earlier on in the build, and that worked out fine. But now with all the frames in place, she really is top heavy, and this will just prevent, God forbid, anything bad happening from her tipping over one way or the other. So we'll put a few of these on each side of the boat, and then this will help give us some stability and strength when we start bending the chine around, when we start bending the planks around. There's gonna be a lot of forces at play, and this will just keep things nice and stable.
So I'm using a story pole to lay out the location of each of the build stringers. I took a piece of scrap, machined it up nice and square and straight, and then took a half an hour to um, lay out the measurements of the locations of the build stringers at each station. Um, it's just a matter of uh, you know taking the measurements off of CAD and transferring them onto the story pole. Now I can just run down each side of the keel, uh, laying out the location for each of the build stringers without having to go back to the plans, take a measurement, uh, lay it out, go back to the plans, take a measurement, et cetera, et cetera. So this kind of speeds it up a little bit. Even though I want to really get started on the build stringers, I realize that I really need to work from the center line out. So what we've been concentrating on is taking care of a few odds and ends, like um, putting some cold galvanizing on the bolt heads for a little extra protection, putting some thread locker on the keel bolts, waterproofing the center line. Uh, this just makes it easier before the build stringers are in place and I'm not trying to maneuver to get into that center line. And another thing that we need to do that'll be much easier now than after the build stringers are installed is what are called the keel cheeks. And they go in between each frame. And because, and this has been a point of confusion for some viewers, is that this boat is not traditionally planked in any sense. And the bottom planking is not what you would uh, normally see in that uh, normal planking running fore and aft. This planking is what George Bueller, the designer, calls Maryland style uh, planking. And that runs athwart ships, meaning it runs down from the chine and butts into the rabbit. So the keel cheeks are what are going to back up that joint. And they're just a matter of uh, cutting some blocking, and then we will cut the bevel on them to the shallowest angle of the frame uh, whichever of the two frames is shallowest and then install it with some lags and you know we'll bet it and tar and all that stuff so now we just got to get a bevel here and then we can go rip it on the table saw Now there is a slight curve to the rabbit here obviously, but we're just ripping a straight line because the difference is so inconsequential that when we go and do our fairing, when we start planking, it's going to get sanded away or uh, planed away anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. And now prior to it fitting in between these two frames, we just take the angle of the frames between the rabbit and the frame, we'll make our marks, we'll cut on the miter saw and then we can do the install. So prior to install, we'll just bed this in tar, we'll throw in some lags, and then we'll move all the way down the keel doing this. So I'm gonna make up a bunch of these first for each station before I get the tar out so that we can just kind of fly with the bolts. So a few weeks ago, we got an email from a guy down in Arizona, and he said that uh, some years ago he was planning to build a boat, but instead decided to open his own company, and he never finished the boat, and he offered to send us a bunch of galvanized fasteners that he had already purchased and would never use. So of course, you know, we gladly accepted, and you know, I was expecting a few boxes of screws or whatever. The guy sends us 125 pounds of various galvanized fasteners cut thread wood screws, uh, lag screws, bolts, nuts, washers. I mean, about 80% of the stuff 
that he sent us was already on my list to be purchased going forward. And the other 20%, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to use on the inside of the boat when we start doing our interior finishing. So a huge windfall to us. We are so grateful, so thankful. So again, thanks very much. And you know, this must have been some time ago because some of the boxes that he sent us for uh, the fasteners came from Jamestown Distributors. And on the boxes it says, you know, when, back when Jamestown Distributors was in Jamestown. So they've since moved. So this must have been some time ago, but we are nonetheless very, very appreciative. So thanks a lot. All right, almost done with one side, and this is the glamour of boat building, these repetitive kind of monotonous tasks that, you know, need to be done, but there's not much glory in it. Uh, so we'll uh, finish up this side, and then we'll move on to the next one and do the same thing. We have some bilge paint on order from Jamestown Distributors that we uh, hope to get the center line bilge painted here while everything is accessible, and then we can move on to our bilge stringers. Uh, if you go into the description of this video, you'll see that we have a discount code that you can use for Jamestown Distributors. We hope you take advantage of that. If you want to help support the project, you can go over to SV Seekers Junk Store and purchase a challenge coin. Uh, you can go over to our website at www.cdreamerproject.com and learn about all the steps that we've taken to get to this point in the build. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we always love hearing from people, so please leave a comment below or you can send us an email at contact at cdreamerproject.com. And as always, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.